in this session we are going to learn about increment and decrement operators in our previous session we have seen what are operators and also we have seen about arithmetic operators now inside arithmetic operators itself we are having this increment and decrement operators now when it comes to increment operator there are two types of operator post increment operator and pre increment operator the same way for decrement we are having post decrement and pre decrement operator now one by one we are going to understand what is this post and pre increment and post and pre decrement operators now first let's see about post increment operator now post by the name itself we can understand later it is just going to increment now here i'll be writing the example a is equal to 2 now here i am just writing this post increment operator Why post? Because first I am having a, then after that I am having this plus plus symbol. Okay, for increment operators we will be using two plus symbols. Now here I'll be just printing this one log, and inside this I will just write here a. I will save this. I will just remove this dot. I will save this. Now if you see the result here, I am having three. Now what happens? first two value will be assigned here then after that this value will be increased and i will be getting the result as 3 and always it is going to increment or decrement by 1 now in the same way i'll just copy this one now for pre increment this plus plus symbol will be coming before this a this is called as pre increment operator now if i save this one for this also i am going to get the result as 3 for this also i am going to get the result as 3 so you will be having a question what is the difference and why we are using this post and pre increment operator if we are having the same result now i will just explain you i will remove this one now inside this i will just directly increment here now if i save this one you can see i am just getting the value as 2 whatever value i am having here that will be printed okay it is not going to increment later it will be incremented so first i will be getting the value as 2 now whenever we are doing post increment first it is just going to print the same value then it is going to increment here now if i just print the value of a now instead of 2 now the value of a will be 3 see okay, what happened here inside this directly it is just printed 2 then here i am having plus plus so now the value become 3 now the value became 3 so when i printed a now the value will be 3 but in this one if i just write here plus plus now what happens first it is going to increment the value that is by 1 so 2 plus 1 will be 3 so it is going to print the value 3 i will save this now you can see it is going to print the value 3 now if i just print this control okay that is a i will save this now i will be getting the result as 3 now what is the basic difference is first it is going to print the value in post increment then it is going to increment but for pre increment first itself it is going to increment and then it is going to display the value okay if you are not getting this one don't worry we are having practice set here using this practice set by resolving all these examples you will understand this increment and decrement operator in much better way so in the same way for decrement operator also we are having the same thing post decrement and pre decrement let me just comment this two things now for this let me just write here post decrement operator now what happens first it is going to print the value of a that is 2 then here it is decremented now the value becomes 1 so first here i will be getting the answer as 2 and after decrementing post decrementing i will be getting the result as 1 so the answer will be 2 and 1 i will save this 
you can see the answer will be 2 and 1. I will copy this. Now below this I am just going to paste. Now in place of this I will be giving the decrement operator. Now you can understand first it is going to decrement and print that is it will print 1 and the value of a will be 1. So the answer will be 1 and 1. Okay, this is the basic difference between post and pre increment operators. Post what it is going to do? It is going to increment or decrement afterwards. But pre what it is going to do? It is going to increment or decrement before itself. Okay, this is the basic example of increment and decrement operators. Now we are going to evaluate the sums. So once you practice this one, you will understand about these operators in advanced level as well. I will come to index.html. I will comment this one. I will uncomment this JS. I will come to practice.js. Okay, these are the few examples we are going to see now. Now this is our first example. I have given the value as 11. A is equal to 11. Now I am just printing this one. Now here I am having plus plus a which means pre-increment. Now what it will do? It will just increment the value. It will give 11 plus 1. I will be having 12. So 12 will be printed. And when I display the value of a, 12 will be displayed. I will uncomment. I will save this. Okay, here I just have to uncomment this one as well. I will save this. You can see it is incremented, pre-increment. I will get the value as 12. Again, when I display A, the value of A will be 12. Now, this is post-increment. So, now, first it is going to print the value of A. That is nothing but 12. Here, I got the value as 12. So, for this post-increment, I will be getting the value as 12. After getting the value, then it will be incremented that is by 1. So 12 plus 1. After that when I print A, I will be getting the result as 13. So here I will be getting 12 and here I will be getting 13. I will uncomment. I will save. You can see 12. And for this I will be getting the result as 13. First it will print the value of A. Then it is going to increment. Now the current value of A is 13. Now this is called as post decrement. First it is just going to print the value of A that is 13. After that it is just going to decrement 13 minus 1. So now the value of A will be 12. So it is just going to display 13 and 12. I will save this. You can see A, A minus minus will be 13 and the value of A will be 12. Now this is pre decrement. Now the value of a is 12. It is just going to decrement. For this I will be getting the result as 11. And now the initial value of a. That is the final value of a will also be 11. I will save this. Now this is our result. Okay, Just practice this one. For 3 it is going to increment directly. And it is going to give the result. For post it will be incrementing or decrementing afterwards. Okay, this is our first example. I will save this. Now we are going to see our second example. Now for this what happens? X is equal to 10 and I have initialized post decrement X minus minus to Y. So what I told you? First it is just going to assign and it is just going to print. Then afterwards it is just going to decrement by 1. Now if I just write here log. And inside this, if I just write here y, now the value will be 10 itself. Because here I have first, it is just going to print this 10. Now afterwards, it has just decremented by 1. Now if I just print here x, now the value of x will be 9. I will just do log. Inside this, I will just print here x. I will save this. Now the value of x will become 9. First, it is just giving the y because I have just assigned this value here. After that, it is just going to decrement. So, my value of 
so the final value of x will become 9 now in place of this if i have just given here minus minus directly i was getting the value as 9 so i will be getting y as 9 and also x will be 9 i will save this we can see 9 and 9 okay this will be our output for this question next we are going to see this example x is equal to 11 y is equal to x plus plus and then plus x so what happens now x plus plus will be 11 first it is just going to assign this value after that it is just going to increment so x plus plus will be 11 now the value of x will be incremented by 1 1 plus 11 will be 12 so 11 plus 12 i should be getting the answer as 23 i will just write here log let me just write here console console dot log and inside this i am just going to print the value as y i will save this now i am going to get the result as 23 let me just open the word document here instead of paint so that i can explain you in more better way now basically i am having three values x is equal to 2 y is equal to 4 and z is equal to 7 and inside this result first i am having the value z now my z value is 7 plus now initially the value of y is 4 now what happens first i am just going to print the value of y so that is nothing but 4 after that i am having minus minus now the value of y will become 3 now the initial value of y is 3 after that i am having minus symbol i'll just write here minus then i am having x my x value is 2 again i am having plus symbol here i am having pre decrement now initially my x value is 2 now pre decrement it will become 1. So directly I am just going to write here 1. After that I am having plus symbol. Then I am having z. My z value is 7 itself. I will be writing this. Then I am having pre increment z operator. It is just going to increment by 1. Now it will become 8. I will just write here 8 divided by x. Now my x initial value is 1 divided by 1 plus z i am just going to write here z initially z value is 8 i will just write here 8 after that it is just going to decrement now my z value will become 7 okay this should be our result let me just check so we will be getting 7 plus 4 i will be getting 11 11 minus 2 plus 1 plus 7 plus 8 8 divided by 1 will be 8 plus 8 if we just add and subtract this one we will be getting the result as 33 i will just come here let me just write here console dot log and inside this i just want to print this result i will save this i will uncomment this one now if we see the result you can see the result value is 33 you can just get the result here 8 plus 8 16 17 17 plus 7 24 24 minus 2 is 22 22 plus 11 will be 33 okay this will be our result okay you just have to understand this one what values has to be assigned now we are going to see this another example i will come here initially the value of x is 9 and we are just going to resolve this one I will copy and here I am just going to place this one. We, are, we will be resolving this. So x plus equal to whatever we will be writing. This will be evaluated to x plus whatever this value we are having. It is just going to evaluate to this one. Okay, Whenever we are writing this x plus equal to. So we will be getting the 
we will be getting this result. x plus and this particular value. I will come down. x is equal to the value of x is 9 plus inside this bracket value of x is 9 plus here I am having post decrement. So, first the value of x will be printed. Now, the value of x will be decremented by 1 that is 8. I will be writing minus. Now, the value of x is 8. I will just write here 8. Again, I am having plus symbol. Now, first it will decrement. So, first the value of x will become 7. So, 7 will be printed here. Plus, now the value of x is 7. 7 will be displayed. Plus, now it will be incremented by 1. So, here it will be incremented by 1. So, the value of x will become 8. Divided by value of x is 8. Plus, now, first the value of x will be printed that is 8. 8 and after that it will be decremented. Now, finally the value of x will be 7. Now, we are just going to evaluate this one. Now, we will be evaluating this one. First, we are having 9 plus 9 minus 8 plus 7 plus 7 and 8 divided by 8 will be 1 plus 8 finally we are having plus 9 okay outside we are having this 9 so we are just going to evaluate this so the answer should be 43 i will come i will just write here console dot log and inside this i will be displaying x i will save this Sorry, the answer is 42. You can see the answer is 42. The result is 42. Okay, this is how we are just going to evaluate this one. Okay, you can try with any numbers and you can get the result. Now, we are going to evaluate this result. Okay, whenever you are getting this error, just don't give the space here. I will copy this one. Now, inside this, I am just going to paste. I will be giving you 20 seconds to solve this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, those who got the answer, well and good. If you are not getting, no problem. We are just going to solve this one. A is equal to A plus whatever entire result I am just going to write it here. I will copy and inside this brackets I am just going to paste. Now initially the value of A will be 10. So 10. Now inside this first I am just, okay, it is post increment. So initially we are just going to display the value of A. 10. After that, the value of A will be incremented by 1, that is 11. We are having plus symbol. I will be writing here plus. Now, this is pre increment. Now, initially, the value of A is 11. Again, it will be incremented to 12. And here, 12 will be displayed. Then, we are having minus. Then, this is pre decrement. So, now we are having 12. It will be decremented to 11. So, 11 will be displayed. Minus, it is post decrement. So, value will A will, value of A will be displayed. Then, it will be decremented by 1. Now, the value of A will become 10. After this, A is equal to, we are just going to calculate this one. 10 plus 12 minus 11 minus 11 plus outside 10. The answer should be 10. Okay, let us just see here. Console.log and inside this I am just going to display A. I will save this. You can see the answer is 10. Okay, this is how increment and decrement operators are useful. Just try this examples. You can create your own simple examples and you can generate the result. 
okay this is the basic difference between increment and decrement operator post increment it will increment later and after that the value will be assigned the increment it will increment and the value will be assigned for post decrement it will print and then the value will be decreased for pre decrement directly it is going to decrease and print the value okay this is how increment and decrement operators are used and these operators are very very useful just practice this as much as you can so that you will understand more about increment and decrement operators okay that's all for this session next session also we are going to learn multiple operators and we are going to see practice sets so that you will understand about these operators completely and you will be able to solve any problem in javascript